morning people of God morning to you God I've been asking God to give me the strength to do this one in all honesty nobody wants to be the bearer of bad news and nobody wants to hear bad news so please understand that we're both on the same side of the fence here you don't like to hear it and I don't like to bear it I don't but I did not choose my calling. You know, when God revealed to me what he had called me for some years ago, and I read similar stories of persons who were called in this office as well in the Bible, it, it frightens me so much. Because you just never know where God will send you, and you never know what God will tell you to say. And I watched the, the persecution they suffered because of it. Nevertheless, <laughs> four years ago, I gave my life to Christ. So my life is not my own anyhow. I don't get to choose what to do and when to do. God decides my destiny. He decides every step that I take. And so if he choose to send me to you today, his will be done. Even though, just as much as oh, you're scared, I'm scared as well. Nevertheless, see what God will do today. Some months ago, the Lord took my spirit and showed me something very terrifying. And to this day, I wrestle with that vision because I didn't know what to do with it. I've been asking God, why did you tell me this? I understand that he was telling me something, but why? Why are you telling me this, God? Please understand one of the ways God communicates to you is through your visions and your dreams. But some of us, we have the gift to interpret dreams. And so that's why some people dreams them in a sense to them and some are able to understand what is happening. I believe God has blessed me with both the ability to see these things and to understand what I see. Praises be unto the Lord. So a few months ago, the Lord took my spirit somewhere. I don't know where it was. I can't tell you if it was Jamaica. I can't tell you if it was America. I can't, I can't tell you. I don't know. And I'm going to tell you why I feel like God did not give me a landmark in the vision. And so in this vision, the Lord had me in a house to observe something very, very, very terrifying. As I was in this house, I was looking through a window. And through the window, I could see this huge sea before me. When I looked, suddenly a cloud appeared over the sea. And this cloud was darkish, grayish looking kinda. And as I was observing, why is this cloud over the sea? Suddenly, people of God, to my shocking surprise, I've never seen this before. I saw a very huge beast coming out of the cloud into the sea. Now this beast, this creature had the head of a dragon and the tail of a serpent. It was red looking. I don't know if you ever drink this liquor called dragon, but it, it, the, the, the beast looked like that creature that is on that bottle. If you don't know what I'm talking, just type in dragon beer on your Google and you'll see what I'm explaining to you. If you want to get a visual look of what I saw. Red very long very huge hallelujah head of a dragon and tail of a serpent this creature and as it came out of the cloud into the sea it proceeded to come up into the earth on the dry land and when i saw it coming i thought it was coming towards the house where i was and maybe it was i don't know but all i know is that i heard my spirit in the blood of Jesus Christ. So I begin to landmark the area where I was, declaring that the blood of Jesus be released and mark that territory. It's as though I was me measure measuring, measuring the territory with the blood of Jesus Christ, declaring to that spirit, you're not going to come anywhere near where I was. The spirit didn't come there. Instead, this dragon proceeded to go amongst the people. Now when I was looking people of God. There was a lot of people walking about their business. You know like their regular daily duty. Because the settings was like daylight. And people were walking about their normal daily activities. 
but in their midst was the serpent moving up and down in the midst of the people in the streets. The thing is, when the serpent came out of the cloud, it had a red looking color. When it came out of the water, it changes its appearance. So by the time it get to land, it was invisible. It looked transparent. I could still see, the Lord still had me see it, that the appearance was changed now. It looked invisible, you know, more like, again, transparent, some glittery, but I could see wherever it was going. And the people didn't notice that in their midst was this beast. Then I was there with a, like a child and the child said to me, you forget to plead the blood over this side. And when she showed me and I looked at the direction where she was showing me, I realized that the serpent was there. Hallelujah. Then I woke up out of the vision. Here is the revelation of that which I saw. As soon as I woke up out of the vision, the Lord confirmed his word. I heard someone that was sitting next to me over on the right or the left, somewhere, somewhere nearby. They started to watch a documentary on Dragon. When I woke up and I was pondering on the vision, I was like, what is that? Then I heard someone start watching a documentary about dragon. And I said, yes, Holy Spirit, I know you're telling me. I just showed you that. People of God, here is the understanding that the Lord gave me. The dragon has been released. The dragon has been released. There is a certain principality. There is a certain power that has been let loose into the earth. It is something that you have never seen before. It is nothing like what you have dealt with in the past before. And the Lord is saying, it's time to apply my blood. Because wherever my blood is not, this dragon this dragon will come and do great harm. Get yourself ready. Something is coming. And the reason why God did not allow me to be able to identify where I was, because he's telling me, Lenisha, this is not a one nation issue. This is a worldwide issue. There is something that is coming that is not just going to affect one country, but all across the board. Every country will be impacted by this principality that has been released. So get your house in order, people of God. Apply the blood of Jesus Christ as much as you can daily. Apply the blood of Jesus upon your children, upon your home, upon your cars, upon your food, upon everything concerning you because i noticed in the vision while i was applying the blood of jesus christ this serpent this dragon this beast could not come near where the blood was but where i didn't plead the blood he or it had access to i'm very terrified of what i saw because i know it is nothing good that is coming this principality has been released it has been released i watched it from the heaven to the cloud to the sea to the earth i saw this with my own two eyes and people of god from ever since god showed me i cannot i can't shake the thing out of my head I keep saying, God, why did you show me this? What do you want me to do? Why are you telling me this? The reason why God is telling me is to tell you that we need to get ourselves prepared and learn how to use the blood of Jesus Christ because it works and it have power. It is written, when I see the blood, I will pass over. Remember the story of the, 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 the Israelites applying the, the, the blood of the animals and the death angel Passover? Let that be an example unto us today. Something is coming. The dragon has been released. <laughs>